Hello guys, this is Tube Peter. Usually I just upload these Project Cars videos and never really talk, but I wanted to mention a few things for this video. Um, this is the first career race I've done in Project Cars. When you start a career, you can pick where you want to start. You want to start in go-karts, super-karts, uh, you have the Clio Cup, there's a a big variety of starting locations to choose from. I ended up going with this Janetta G40 Junior. I drove it on the Norch Life and it was felt good to drive. Uh, some of the cars, when you drive them, you can kind of tell they're not completely done, though most are. And uh, this car is just fun to drive. This is also my first time on the Olton Park track. I did, prior to starting this race, I did two qualifying laps neither of which counted because I outspin and go in the grass and the laps just didn't count. Not that they would be fast enough either, so to start last in this video. But the what I did want to really talk about is the AI. If you have seen any of my other videos, it's pretty obvious that the AI needed a lot of work. They would all bunch up and crash into each other and block the track and they'd go flying into the air and, and they'd just kind of sit there upside down in a wreck so uh, in, in this video you can tell the AI have greatly improved and something I really wanted to focus on is how the AI really react to your own driving um, if you go into overtake they'll try and kind of <laughs> not give you any room so you have to switch back to the other side and if you try and outbreak them they'll try and outbreak you and they they can end up going wide and you could cut back under them and overtake them so they really respond to your own driving as the player which is very different to what you see in games like Forza and Gran Turismo where the cars just kind of follow their general racing line and uh, they don't really react to you as much so uh, they I uh, still ne you know need work uh, project cars isn't releasing for a few more months so but if you've seen my other videos uh, you can tell how big of an improvement this is another thing I wanted to mention that people have been asking in comments is uh, car tuning there is you can tune every single car in the project cars uh, what I mean by car tuning is you, you can mess with the brake balance and what kind of tires you have and ride height and suspension the stiffness the camber the aerodynamics you know depending on the car so standard tune settings that you have in most games that try and be more on a sim side rather than arcade all of that is available what is not available is car upgrades in Forza and Gran Turismo you can you know swap out different engines and different transmissions and uh, you know exhaust types and you can put on different rims and stuff none of that is available in project cars I'm not sure if they're implementing that they're working on that or not as far as I know, which I haven't really looked into it, they are not, and uh, or at least it's not in the current build that I am playing on. Having said that, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, I'll do my best to try and reply to any questions, and uh, if you guys would want to see any specific things about project cars also please let me know in the comments I'll try and do my best to showcase whatever it is you guys want to see about the game uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video